good morning students last time we have completed topic number 14 that is basic principles of organic chemistry now we are going to start new topic topic number 15 hydrocarbons now hydrocarbons are the compound which contains carbon and hydrogen atoms in the molecule are called as hydrocarbons that is compounds which contains carbon and hydrogen as the only elements are called hydrocarbons next point we are going to see classification of hydrocarbons now hydrocarbons are classified into two main types that is open chain hydrocarbons and closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons now open chain hydrocarbons are also called as aliphatic hydrocarbons and these aliphatic hydrocarbons are of two types that is saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons now first what is mean by open chain the hydrocarbons which possesses a open chain of carbon atom is called as open chain hydrocarbons now here these are of two types saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons now the compounds which possesses carbon carbon single bond in the molecule are called as saturated that is the hydrocarbons which possesses carbon carbon single bond in the molecule are called as saturated hydrocarbons for example alkanes and unsaturated hydrocarbons are those which possesses carbon carbon double and triple bond in the molecule that is alkenes and alkynes are the examples of unsaturated hydrocarbons now saturated hydrocarbons that is alkanes are of two types straight chain uh, hydrocarbons and branch chain saturated hydrocarbon in straight chain saturated hydrocarbons there is a straight chain of carbon atom in the molecule and in case of branched chain saturated hydrocarbons the straight chain of carbon atom is branched with another carbon carbon chain they are called as branched chain saturated hydrocarbons then unsaturated hydrocarbons which possesses carbon carbon double or triple bond in the molecule that is alkenes for in case of carbon carbon double bond and alkynes in case of carbon carbon triple bond these unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified into or they are unsaturated hydrocarbons are of two types straight chain unsaturated hydrocarbons in which there is presence of a straight chain of carbon atoms and in case of branch chain unsaturated hydrocarbon there is presence of a straight chain of carbon atom which is branched with another carbon carbon chain they are known as branch chain unsaturated hydrocarbons in unsaturated hydrocarbon there is presence of carbon carbon double or triple bond in the molecule now next class of hydrocarbon is cyclic or ring compounds or ring hydrocarbons now cyclic or ring hydrocarbons are further classified into saturated Uh, cyclic hydrocarbons and unsaturated cyclic hydrocarbons in case of saturated cyclic hydrocarbons the ring is formed by carbon carbon single bond they are also named as alicyclic compounds in case of cyclic unsaturated hydrocarbons there is presence of one or more than one carbon carbon double bond in the molecule now these unsaturated cyclic hydrocarbons are further classified into aromatic and non aromatic in case of aromatic hydrocarbons there is presence of alternate carbon carbon single and double bond in the ring structure for example benzene and in case of a non aromatic uh, cyclic hydrocarbons there is presence of only one or more than one carbon carbon double bond in the ring structure now we have seen the classification of hydrocarbons these are open chain and cyclic hydrocarbons open chain hydrocarbons are of two types saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons 
saturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and unsaturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and alkynes and in case of cyclic hydrocarbons these are of two types saturated cyclic hydrocarbons and unsaturated cyclic hydrocarbons now unsaturated cyclic hydrocarbons are further classified into aromatic hydrocarbons and non aromatic hydrocarbons now we are going to see all these hydrocarbons in detail in which first we, we are going to start open chain saturated hydrocarbons now open chain or aliphatic saturated hydrocarbons are nothing but alkenes which possesses carbon carbon single bond in the molecule now here first we are going to start alkenes now aliphatic saturated hydrocarbons which contains carbon carbon single bond along with carbon hydrogen single covalent bond in the molecule are called as alkenes that is alkenes are the compounds which possesses carbon carbon single and carbon hydrogen single covalent bond in the molecule these compounds or these alkenes are also known as paraffins now the general formula of alkene is cn h2n plus 2 where n is the number of carbon atom and n is equal to either it is 1 2 3 4 etc now here the general representation of alkene is rh where r is a alkyl group for example methane molecular formula of methane is ch4 in methane the value of n is 1 then second ethane that is c2h6 or it is ch3 ch3 then third propane c3h8 that is ch3 ch2 ch3 then butane that is c4h10 ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 pentane that is c5h12 ch3 ch2 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 ch3 hexane that is c6h14 ch3 ch2 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 ch3 these are the six members of homologous series of alkenes that is methane to hexane you can write all the members up to decane that is c10 h22 next point we are going to see isomerism in alkenes now isomerism is the phenomenon in which compounds have similar molecular formula but they have different structural formulas now here this alkene shows structural isomerism in structural isomerism they show chain isomerism in chain isomerism organic compounds have same molecular formula but they are either straight chain or branched chain for example in case of alkenes methane ethane and propane does not possesses any isomerism or they have only one structure but butane possesses two isomers pentane possesses three isomers now here we are going to uh, see this by using the example of butane or chain isomerism in butane is explained by using the example of butane and pentane now first butane molecular formula of butane is c4h10 now here if all these four carbon atoms are in a straight chain that is ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 then it is straight chain isomer and name of this compound is n butane now we are going to see the second isomer here ch3 ch ch3 and one carbon atom is branched with middle carbon atom that is ch3 now here these three carbon atoms are in straight chain and this middle carbon atom or second number carbon atom is branched to four number carbon atom by ch3 group therefore it is isobutane now this butane that is n butane this n butane and isobutane are the isomers of each other they are straight chain and branch chain isomers of each other therefore they, this is the example of chain isomerism now in case of pentane 
if five carbon atoms are in a straight chain that is ch3 ch2 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 ch3 now here it is n pentane all the five carbon atoms are are in a straight chain therefore it n pentane or it is straight chain isomer now if ch3 ch ch3 ch2 ch3 now four carbon atoms are in a straight chain and at second position or at second number carbon atom there is fifth ch3 group is present therefore it is isopentane in which there is branching is present and therefore it is branch chain isomer of pentane and third here ch3 c ch3 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 now here three carbon atoms are in straight chain and at middle or second number carbon atom there are two ch3 group therefore it is new pentane now in this case in case of pentane there are three isomeric forms that is molecular formula is similar for n pentane isopentane and neo pentane but the structures that is n pentane is a straight chain isomer while isopentane and neo pentane are branch chain isomers homework for you write all possible isomers of hexane having molecular formula c6h14 write their iupac names next point we are going to see preparation of alkanes in which first point we are going to see industrial sources of alkane now here crude petroleum and natural gases are the best sources of alkanes now how this crude petroleum and natural gases are obtained now here plants buried under the earth billions of year ago get converted into crude oil under the high temperature and pressure condition now here the crude oil collected in a dome shaped cavities under the earth surface which are called as oil wells now here these alkanes are obtained by fractional distillation of crude oil and this is the industrial sources of alkane that is crude petroleum and natural gases are the industrial sources of alkanes